Hello, and welcome back to the Patrick's Green Tea Podcast. For this episode, I recorded three parts. The second one was almost entirely copyrighted piano music, so I just cut it out entirely. It appears as though it had been a long time since I last smoked, and the last recorded Patrick's Green Tea content was from 10 days prior. Looking back, 10 days certainly can feel like a long time after a while of regular use, but objective, uh, sorry, objectively, it isn't that long. I'm currently on a streak of almost a month without using marijuana, and after that first week, the urge to do it sort of waned. Especially with the system I have going now, where I have a single joint left for my stash because of the coronavirus situation interrupting my resupply attempts, but having that sort of, I don't know, that reassurance that if I ever want to have weed, I can, um, it's, it's really helped with that sort of mindset that I was in uh, a few months back where I had no weed at all, and I was just crazy, um, crazy for it. So I could probably get more if I wanted to, but for a bunch of reasons, I'm not really looking for more at the moment. However, something odorless like edibles or vape pens would be great. Anyways, that's it for the prelude, and I hope you enjoy the episode. I don't know where I was going. Hello. <laughs> I'm back. I haven't been back in a while. I took a long hiatus from this podcast. Oh, I completely forgot what it was like to be high. Completely forgot. It like, I haven't been high in so long. Oh, I've been listening to a lot of Terrence McKenna recently. And I've taken his advice to take weed like once a week. And it makes a week feel like an eternity. <clears throat> Being sober. Ah, uh, when you're weed, everything just when you're high, when you're weed, when you're on, when you're on weed, when you're high. I don't know where I was going. <laughs> Ugh. Anyways, damn, I feel like a totally different person. I've been remembering my uh, childhood. <clears throat> this whole since I've been since I started getting high uh, tonight. So after I took the bowl, basically, um, I it like it came to me. I was walking sober. It came to me as a voice. I heard Joe Rogan like talk like in the third person talking about the Joe Rogan experience. Like, yeah, the Joe Rogan experience. JRE, the Joe the Joe Rogan experience, something like that. But it was like. Joe Rogan saying that sentence. I was like, wait, is this a separate thing? And then it kept speaking to me, like in different things that I know Joe Rogan has never said. And like, <clears throat> it felt like a, um, oh, it felt like its own voice. And then, like, it asked me, what do you want to experience? And I said, I want to remember childhood specifically I want to remember that's what I said to it and the Joe Rogan experience voice the Joe Rogan voice I guess I should say it was like okay that's all you had to say Ugh. 
It's noisy here. <laughs> it's real noisy. I don't even know where the mic is. Hello? Hello. You're on the bottom. <clears throat> How many times do we have to do the fucking mic position test for me to know that the mic is on the goddamn bottom? I hope. I really hope. <clears throat> I'm in the wrong direction is what I know. Oh, these noises. What the fuck? It smells like... It smells. It, it uh, fucking sounds like uh, Blade Runner right now. Ah, and it looks like it too. Wow. This looks like a sci-fi city. Sci-fi is fuck, dude. What the fuck? Ah, all these neon signs for like all this old architecture. Ugh. I was trying to think of um, how to design Gotham, the, the fictional city at Gotham. Um, and I had to for a directing class. And I'm reimagining the Batman and Robin script. But like, ha- I have to think of Gotham, like how I would design it. And like, I realize it's, it's its own character. It has a completely unique atmosphere. It's like these fictional goons that like run the city. Uh, the city's always evacuated, at least in the video games. So it makes it feel really strange. So, like, what is it like with people there? Like, normal people. Ugh. But it, it's definitely, like, its own universe. Like, Joel, uh, Christopher Nolan, to make Gotham, he shot in New York, Chicago, and a third city. I think Baltimore or something. And so Gotham, like the city that the city was, was like three different regions entirely, architectured uh, city blocks. Um, it makes Gotham like so, ugh, it's loud. It makes Gotham so uh, uncomfortably like uh, diverse. Oh my god. It's cold outside. Also, I see a lot of this, um... Uh, not ventriloquism, fucking vandalism. That was the other word. Um, ah, uh, this is deport Trump. Like, deport. D-E-P-O-R-T. And it's like, so strange. Uh, you can't hear me. Or maybe you can. Ah, uh, alright. I want to sit down. Ugh! This is the park I was trying to get to. The NYC AIDS Memorial Park at St. Vincent's Triangle. This is where I am. Oh yeah, the date. Just to fucking put on my police file. February 22nd, 2019. What's the time? 9.49 9.49 p.m. Trucks. That's what I hear. Fucking diesel. Oh, it's weird, dude. To walk in a park. It's like fenced off. But there's no one here. Ah! What even is a park, dude? This place looks like a fucking fairy tale. Like, if you really look at it and don't look past it. The way the lights are styled, like, they're so old styled. Like, imagine just, like, you're walking down a desert and you see a park. Like, how bizarre would that look? Ugh. Just the architecture of the land itself is so strange. And this is super, like esoteric language but what the fuck ever man I feel like an artiste huh it's getting it's cold though it's fucking cold (laughs) that fucking opening what I want to do is I wanted to or whatever like as the back track and just keep repeating that for the entire 
length of the song and then over like cut i did like four bars or four measures whatever of um each thing so that's like 16 beats and or something like that either 16 or 8 and it's like I think he said 280 that guy so that just like fucked up my calculation not all these numbers in my head um I don't know oh fucking doing uh, mathematics high is so fucking like you feel like you're inside the numbers <laughs> man it's like you really get conscious of your brain when it um, moves um, numbers around <clears throat> I think I'm gonna I'm gonna pause okay I'll be back Hello. Back for a second slash third installment of ah, PGT20, Patrick Screen T Podcast, <clears throat> episode 20. By my count, I don't know what the hell it'll come out to be later, but for now it's called PGT20. Um, fuck, bro. Fuck, bro. Um, I was just thinking about how, like, universities, I wrote this down, how universities are kind of like cults. Like, they have whole fortresses. You have to pay a lot of money to get in. It's kind of like a mafia in a way. You pay all these money to this, this money to these institutions. The only reason that they seem official is because they teach knowledge, but, like, they're dictated and paid for and all that so it's like this huge enterprise people actually make money going into these fields it's like a business school is it just feels so strange school you think is like a given but like it's not it's a whole institution into it uh, unto itself it's not public all the time ah Private schools are like cults, <laughs> in a way, also. Oh, God. I used to be a um, ultimate frisbee skater. Or skater. Ultimate frisbee player, I should say. I used to play... I used to play ultimate frisbee, and... It was like this kid who had spent a year in private school, understood Ultimate Frisbee, which was a unique sport. Um, A unique sport in that loop of private schools. But to public schools, it wasn't like, it didn't reach it yet. So this kid was like, uh, connecting private schools and public schools through this one sport. I don't know. It was just a fucking wild thought. I'm just rambling right now. Jesus Christ. I'm Namba. My breathing. <clears throat> Ooh. Man, I feel like tinnitus in the ear, in my left, where my earbud is. Oh, man. Tinnitus. Yeah, it's there. Fuck, man. Oh, I'm taking the earbud out. It's too much. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> Hope this is interesting. It's just a lot of pauses. I'm not gonna edit this at all. 
<clears throat> Just a journal of mine. Huh. <clears throat> Should we talk about something? <laughs> I'm just breathing. My thoughts are so fucking loud right now. Oh, this feels like empty space. I'm sorry. I'm gonna start talking. Um, there's. Um. Ah. Man, my thoughts are completely blank. Maybe I should just pause and take in this silence. Cause holy shit, this silence is loud. I can hear my fucking thoughts in my head. Oh my god. Damn. I am crying. <laughs> it sounds like I'm crying, but I'm not. My nose is fucking running though. I was thinking about crying earlier though. Like I felt like when I entered this high, there were like these four states that I went through that were like, I felt like crying. I got my nose sniffled up and it was really sad. I remember being really sad. I don't remember what it was about though. I don't remember what it was about. Dude, I can feel my entire fucking skeleton. I don't know. Fuck, man. I'm gonna pause. <laughs> this is probably not interesting. I'll come back when I have something to say. Hello. Thanks for listening to the podcast. You can find me at Patrick Screen T on Patreon, Discord, Spotify, YouTube, Twitch, and Bandcamp. Patrick Screen T Podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, SoundCloud, TuneIn, Stitcher, and Instagram at Patrick Green Tea without an S on Twitter. Supplemental materials like photos and text are available on our website, patrickscreentea.com. You can join our subreddit at r slash patrickscreentea. You can make comments on YouTube and on the website, and you can contact me directly at patrickscreentea at gmail.com. Thank you so much, and have a lovely day.